had this date like two hours of the store. Hmm. Maybe you'll get a suite where you can cook your own food. Mm, not sure. I know we're staying in the casino. Hmm. They probably want you to eat at the crap table. Other hotel, but. Uh, well, I'm sure they did it because it was cost sensitive. Yeah, they want to get you to go upstairs and play the slots. Maybe throw up some dice, right? You say there's some loose slots there? Maybe shuffle some cars. Ah, filming live from a third story one bedroom apartment in North Mishawaka, Indiana. The Princess City, cursed by geese. It's the handlebar growing mustache extravaganza with your host, Dave. Handlebar mustache show, handlebar mustache show. Stash is looking great, but we can't be late for the handlebar mustache show. Welcome back to your six day 185 take two algebra edition. Ah, fat, is that you? Uh, algebra is pretty. I know how to do it when they ask the questions without being tried to sneaky or the story question. Sometimes you just have to think in your head what makes sense. And then you'll have your answer. Or you could just do it the long way. So anyway, Isaac was over here. We played algebra for a couple couple times. I got them a, a quarter thing for the state quarters with the, uh, what do they call them, Yellowstone, the, uh, the state parks. Wow. Yellowstone, Yosemite, uh, Hot Springs. So maybe me and Fran will do that a little bit tonight. I'll read something off and she'll go, bingo! That'll be good practice for when we retire. Oh. You ever go to the bingo halls when you were a kid, Pat? Uh, not really, but I've been there as an inspector. That's about it. Inspecting the bingo halls? Well, they, they serve food there like, you know. Like a bologna sandwich and some chips? No, nah, they've, up, they've upgraded the fryers and deep fried foods and all kinds of goodies. Oh, boy. I guess if you're going to waste your money on bingo, you might as well waste it on some fried food, too. Uh, tell them we used to have burgers and french fries and everything else. Wow. And, and we used to go to the Memorial... That uh, was back in the 90s. Marion High School and play. They had their own cards and everything. And then at that uh, Portage Manor, I have called bingo before. I was the guy with the big... Lottery balls shaking around. Oh. I felt pretty powerful then. But everyone was a winner at the end, so it didn't matter too much. We almost ran out of cards. I said everybody can have two cards, and that was too many because we ran out. But then I said if you win, you have to bring your two cards up, and you can't win again. So then those other people got a chance. I was like Solomon. I cut the baby right in half. Yeah. So that's pretty good. I learned out yesterday that Martin Luther was a horrible anti-Semite when he was younger. Ah, curses. But that's what you get for putting your faith in humans. So anyway. That's pretty good. Pretty good. I've been using this Pantene on my beard. Boy, does it look nice. It kind of curls up at the bottom. Just like an old story time. Oh, it shouldn't make it curly then. It's supposed to be for curly hair. Oh, it define my curls. Well, Fran's daughter, Sarah, is an extreme couponer. So we get a lot of this, especially soaps. And like Lysol and stuff like that, we get pretty cheap. And toilet paper, I have to have a lot of toilet paper to look at to inspire me. So, anyway, I probably said too much. Yes. <laughs> Knock on wood, keep it classy in the web. And until I see you manana, I bid you all arrivederci and adieu. Ah, oh, curses.